how to scan a book. So I can scan pages and then use our software algorithm to digitally flatten the pages so they appear to be flat instead of curved from the spine of the book. In this video, we will show you how to do this along with other tips. First, select color mode according to your needs. If you are scanning a text only book, then we recommend black and white mode. After selecting the mode, click facing pages in processing method. In accordance with your needs, you can choose finger removal and auto page mending. After you've adjusted the settings, spread the book on top of the black cushion. Before scanning, you should check several details to ensure the software can scan and flatten the pages correctly. 1. The black soft pad needs to fill the entire preview interface. 2. There should be no extra stuff on the black cushion. 3. Books need to be pressed into the pad as flat as naturally possible, but do not use excessive force. You don't want to damage the book's spine, and our scanners may accidentally distort the page anyway if it's pressed too hard. 4. The content of the pages need to appear correctly in the preview interface. If you need to scan a book with a large cover, such as a thread-locked binding book or a hardcover book, a large cover may hinder the software from recognizing the outlines of pages. To fix this, you can use our assistive covers to cover excess cover parts to improve the accuracy of software identification. You need to buy separately. Turn over the front cover and snap the right angle of one assistive cover to the top left then turn over the back cover and snap the right angle of another assistive cover to the bottom right. Open the magnetic buckle on the upper left and lower right, and stick the velcro slightly to the buckle to tighten it slightly. At this time, the overcovered part and the thread mounted part will be covered by the assistive cover, preventing it from affecting page outline recognition. If you need to adjust the assistive cover during scanning, you can repeat the above steps. Note that this set of assistive cover will only be used when scanning thread locked books or hardcover books. For books with normal binding, if the cover has no effect on the outline of the page, there is no need to use the assistive cover. After you've made the adjustments, you can begin scanning. Once the book is placed correctly, all you will need to do is turn the pages for normal scanning. During the scanning process, you can see a rough preview of the scanning results via the thumbnail list on the left. Double click the thumbnail to view the picture directly. After scanning, you can apply the flattening function by looking at the outline grid. As shown in the figure, the software will automatically recognize the seven lines at the edge and middle of the book and use these lines as a grid to complete the flattening process. If there are some slight contour recognition errors, you can also adjust the contour lines manually to improve the flattening effect. As long as the contour lines are recognized correctly, the flattening effect should complete with success. The most important thing is to review the previous four details. With some attention to detail, you will have a flawless scanning experience. Hope this video helps, and we look forward to you scanning all your favorite books. Thanks for watching.